What's good guys, what's going on? Justin here, welcome back uh, to the update of organizing my space. I finally got around to it. This has been a process that's been going on for about, uh, I'd say two and a half weeks now. Finally finished, uh, I'd say I only have a pile of papers that are left to be processed. And if I can uh, do that uh, as soon as possible, uh, I should be able to really maintain my space and be on top of uh, everything and I'm talking about uh, my accounting and scheduling and all invoicing and all that. Uh, I have recently with this whole new, uh, how can I say, a new beginning, you know, just trying to get things organized. I know we're at uh, a little bit past the halfway point. Uh, I know Johnny Mo said that there. But uh, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to impl implement some systems for the remainder of the year so that uh, next year... Uh, I'll be starting off uh, with some of these systems in place and uh, I shouldn't have any difficulty maintaining my organization and my accounting and whatnot. So with all this change that I've just done, uh, I've actually signed up to FreshBooks and I'm going to see how that goes. That sort of links up with my bank account and whatnot and uh, processes your invoices and expenses and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm on a trial basis for now. I'm going to see how it goes after the 30 days and uh, from then uh, maybe I'll give you guys a review if you guys have any questions about it. Uh, by no means am I an expert in accounting. That is the main area of the business where I need to improve. So I'm looking to improve that. Uh, definitely listening to a lot of what uh, Johnny Moe has been saying and uh, yeah, I want to be comfortable. I do not want to have to, don't want to have to work in the winter time, which I will be doing this year, but uh, hopefully within two years, uh, I can definitely uh, not have to be doing that and the wife and I can take a nice vacation somewhere. Uh, okay, so here we go. I'm going to flip the camera around and uh, finally give you a view of uh, what it is now. Maybe I'll link the videos together somehow and show you what it was or Obviously, you guys can just look at the video of uh, what the space looked like, and uh, here we go. So I'm going to have to put this on stop. I'll flip the camera around and uh, give you guys a little uh, tour of what the garage looks like now. All right, so, uh, here we are. So uh, here we have, uh, I apologize for this right here, guys. Uh, Paula, I don't have to apologize, but uh, the spring broke on the door here. As you can see, there's no spring, and... There's the spring up here, so it actually doesn't hold because it's, the door is too heavy, uh, the balance is off. So hoping to uh, have a friend uh, that I play hockey with, he's actually a garage door specialist, at some point when the funds are available for that to install a garage door because this door is actually extremely heavy. I have trouble lifting it. Uh, well, I can lift it, but uh, you know, I do have to force a little and my wife does have a lot, she has a lot of trouble lifting it and uh, being 5'4 and small and all that, it is quite heavy for her, so I want to get this uh, taken care of uh, as soon as possible. But uh, moving on, so I have my hoses here, we have uh, three hoses about 50 feet long, so about 150 feet I believe in hoses, uh, they're actually connected, over there is the spigot around the corner. And uh, so I have them mounted here, just quick and easy access out of the way of uh, the extension cord, which actually I have, if you guys can see, I have Mickey Mouse this because of course making the video, my <laughs> uh, phone died. So I actually have it plugged in and made shift, uh, makeshift a little, uh, a little adapter so I can walk around and, and film this film. Anyways. So yeah, so here we also have, I got this, uh, I believe it's James Shields, thanks buddy. Uh, actually he was the one that I suggested that perhaps I look into a wall mounted uh, uh, wind up uh, air hose. And actually really does the trick and I appreciate that. Uh, it makes things a lot easier. Even if I was to mount the old air hose onto the wall somewhere, it was just so stiff and really hard to just like you know set in place so this makes things a lot easier obviously you can see the air compressor there hopefully one day look into a bigger one uh, 50 gallon 80 gallon uh, air tank uh, but that will be sometime in the future no rush for that now uh, plus especially uh, that, that would serve great for uh, pneumatic work like removing tires and this and that so look into that in the future I don't have a lot of tools I'm not a huge tool guy but uh, I do have the tools that I do use here mounted on the wall. Uh, you, see, you see the pneumatic air grease gun, uh, chainsaw sharpener. 
uh, just some extra hose because I'll show you later I do have the hoses there for when I do oil changes and whatnot uh, some wrenches grease and lubrication uh, obviously I got the blade balancer the vice setup here just a couple of adapters for the uh, air compressor uh, the socket sizes that I use most uh, uh, socket wrench uh, vice grips allen keys uh, level uh, yeah, safety glasses, drills, whatnot, bits. Uh, my extra keys here that I'm gonna really duplicate all. I have more in the truck that I need to take out of there because there's some doubles even over there, but I need to, I wanna have two copies of extra sets of keys. So, uh, giving myself three. And actually, my one of my employees, Claude, actually has a set on him and my wife has a set. And uh, yeah, so basically that would be a five set of keys. Uh, moving on, uh, as you guys know, this bench was not here. Uh, it was like a, I believe probably like a bathroom cupboard uh, that was kind of set up here when we moved in. So I was just using that for the time being. I installed a piece of plywood here. This wood was just remaining from the, the leaf box that I had mounted on the hydraulic trailer. And uh, yeah, some excess wood. So I just figured, hey, why not uh, just bring that across? You should have saw what I had before, guys. That's actually why it took so long. I had a, a big glass L desk that I brought from upstairs. Actually, it's what I had uh, all the, like, you know, the MPC, synthesizer, sound card, speakers, all that on that in uh, the loft space that we lived on, having like a little studio. But uh, I tried to bring that up here and set that up, but uh, it, was, it was not practical. And uh, glass in a garage uh, you know I was trying to make it an office space a bit more but I needed to be more of a working space so actually it ran probably from about here say from about here long wise and actually came out and then probably ended about there so that doesn't leave much space especially you know if I want to have the machines in here in the winter time uh, so I can tinker on them and whatnot so this serves me much better uh, pretty solid Pretty happy with it. This is my first workbench that I have uh, constructed, so uh, pretty satisfied with the way it turned out. The only thing I have to say that I have not finished was uh, I have not fastened the 2x4s uh, to the garage floor yet. So I will get like uh, one of my buddies is a uh, does renovations and construction and all that, and he has those uh, those nail guns, and I'll just uh, set those nails in there and. Uh, I just need about maybe two, two in each. Don't want to have it fastened down too much in case I want to change something. But uh, yeah, uh, I've installed these shelves here uh, just so that everything's in and out of the way and it has its place. Uh, you know, just a heater for in the winter time. We do have uh, electric runner board all over there, but uh, sometimes just by my feet or whatever. Why not? I keep that there. Some grinders uh sander another grinder up there that's just the box for the drill uh reciprocal saw uh this right here is actually uh just the west pro stickers and flyers and stuff like that i have boxes of that stuff downstairs that's my wife's toolbox i inherited from her dad that she's very keen on that i make sure i replace everything in there uh my oil filter to change in the truck, uh, it's one of two oil filters that I need to change, but I had trouble getting uh, the top off, so I was unable to do so. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting that done at some point, maybe in the uh, in the fall. Uh, it's actually just a bin of, um, I got paper towels and rags in there, some GoPro stuff, uh, battery charger for uh, the DeWalt and the Black & Decker drill, uh, an eliminator. That box has got uh, new hats that we just received two weeks ago, some straps. That's uh, a skill saw I inherited from my father-in-law and that's he made that box. He is actually very skilled uh, with his hands. Unfortunately, uh, his health is, uh, uh, he's going through something right now, but he's actually, he was building guitars and everything real fantastic, uh, really good with his hands and stuff like that. So pretty honored that uh, he passed that on to me, along with uh, quite a few things that I have. Uh, actually the air compressor as well with all the components in the, the box there. This is just a box of screws. Uh, different size screws and whatnot it has two sides so been going through those that was one of the first clients that we did when we moved to this area he uh, gave us some stuff he was moving back to the islands 
and uh, gave us a whole bunch of stuff, maybe uh, I think a, a huge ladder that extends up to about 30 feet or uh, a whole bunch of stuff like that. Uh, some uh, copper fitting or bathroom plumbing plumbing uh, fittings and stuff like that. So yeah, this is uh, yeah, my uh, prized uh, walker stool there. So fantastic, I love that. Uh, I'd like to get a Dixie Chopper one. And now just to add to uh, have a place for my wife to sit when we're in here sometimes because sometimes I have the place lit up uh, with, like Christmas lights and all that uh, a little bit eccentric but uh, hey man I'm into all that stuff uh, too just like uh, mowing and growing Martin I'm still uh, into the scene you know I was a huge uh, hip-hop head and stuff like that all oh, music head in general loved uh, metal for quite some time I was into that for probably 10-15 years uh, I used to dance uh huge into hip-hop i like making beats as you guys saw if you've seen one of my videos but anyways moving on I have the workbench installed i got the computer hooked up here uh the bulletin board uh up there i'm going to try to use that more what i want to start doing is putting envelopes and just putting receipts in those envelopes uh but right now what i'm trying to do is i've gone on to fresh books i've signed up uh, for a free trial i'm going to see how it goes and i want to start eliminating uh paper uh invoices and stuff and just taking pictures with them of them and then you can sort of put them on uh online and folders and whatnot uh, I'm, I'm just new to it so i gotta figure out how that works but uh yeah i just need to organize my stuff more so everything is there anything i need to pin up or i can just have it in front of me because i am sitting here quite often up here just some speakers uh for martin out there actually i have a couple of jbl speakers uh they boom pretty well with uh, uh audio technique audio technique headphones with uh audio technica so uh, Martin might know about those or any of you guys that are into uh, messing around with turntables and stuff like that and making beats. Pretty sick. Uh, that's just the beatbox portable whatnot. Up here I just have actually, this will be my little junk area. I just throw everything that I'm not sure of up there. I'll tell you the truth. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like I have a staple gun and why not. Here the second shelf is just some reading material to refer to sometimes and uh, all my... Uh, my manuals, operating manuals there. Uh, this is a book that I read two years ago, The Myth, uh, The E-Myth, Landscape Contractor. Uh, got that book, I'm sure quite a few of you have read it out there. It's pretty good, it's not bad. It's definitely about growing your business. Uh, that's what I wanna start doing. The next stage is uh, when I'm gonna be able to really have two full-time employees and uh, another vehicle actually because my wife has her vehicle but she needs it often but uh another vehicle so i can go out and bid jobs and maybe do some some landscaping work because that's actually what i specialized in with the last company i was in so i'd like to do uh some landscaping jobs some projects and stuff because that's where the the profit is and uh i hope to to do that in the future uh this system here i really want to get this in and out uh filing system file system or whatever you want to call it basket i want to start using this having stuff come in by no means there's a lot of stuff here which is just here i got to go through this uh, these are just some uh, commercial contracts and whatnot but really start putting stuff here stuff that's on top i need to go through and give myself a certain amount of time that i need to process it put it in here when i'm done and at the end of the month or end of two weeks or weekly why not get it and then file it down into the filing cabinet system i have uh we have our fax machine here, a photocopier. I need to blow this off actually with all the uh, moving things around and whatnot. But uh, this is just great. I just have this handy because I'm going to start printing out, you know, even the transactions from uh, transfers from account to account, uh, banking statements and whatnot, just so that everything's here. Copy of the invoices. So I have hard copy of the paperwork just so I do have it and file away for like a year or two years and just photocopy them and file them, file them in the appropriate places. Uh, I had this stuff really hooked up properly at one point. Uh, color coded, like anything red was financial, anything blue was uh, government, uh, green just had to do with uh, the green industry and whatnot. Uh, I need to go through this again and uh, 
get everything organized with here. It's not bad, but still, nonetheless, I need to uh, update a few things and uh, add a few things here. This is the pile, if I had not said it earlier. This is what's remaining in the garage. This is what I still have to process. And actually, it might not look like much, but there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Receipts and this and that. And this, I could be truthful with myself, uh, be honest with myself. This is my biggest problem. This poses the biggest problem to me is organization. And it's more so accounting and whatnot. Uh, I have difficulty staying organized uh, with paperwork. And it has a negative effect. It uh, There is repercussions of being such a way. Uh, in high school, my locker was a mess. So... What can I say? I really need to improve on that. I know it's an issue for me. I want to better myself in that. I'm listening to audiobooks, as I've said on the first video that pertained to organizing my space. I had said that I need to organize my space and uh, stay on top of things. So I'm listening to ebooks right now, audiobooks. And uh, if I can master that, uh, Man, uh, I, I'm sure I will. Be, I know I will be very successful. But right now, that's limiting me, and I need to improve on that because uh, that's my weakness, and I will improve on that. So I'll let you guys know as uh, I continue to make videos if I do how that's going. Obviously, it's a change. It's gonna not. It's gonna. It's not gonna happen overnight, but uh, hopefully, it happens sooner than later. Uh, it's early enough in the game where it's not going to affect me so much where I can't climb out of the hole that I've dug myself in. And it's just more so just like accounting, taxes and whatnot. That's what I'm talking about. I just need to be on top of it. So hopefully with this uh, fresh books, uh, the fresh books that I've signed up to will simplify things and uh, help me manage what I need to manage. Uh, so yeah, so you've seen all this here. This is my, uh, the MPC is still on the floor. That's probably going to go back and forth from here and downstairs. Uh, probably set up a little studio again downstairs and uh, rock out on that. That will be more so of a winter thing. Uh, right now there's still plenty of work and uh, three months to go. Leave cleanup to worry about. So downstairs setting all this up. We'll wait till another time. But for now I'll leave it here and sometimes I just use it uh, to bang out and let some stress out. Like uh, Stan uh, Genetics says uh, he hits his gym while I, hit, I bang out on pads. It seems to help. So maybe that's why I'm so stressed sometimes because I don't do it as often as I should be doing it. Uh, over here, guys, this is my, my hockey corner, if you can say. After all, I am a good old Canadian boy and I do love my hockey. Uh, I play in the wintertime. I play sometime up to three times a week. Uh, so right now I was playing twice a week, but, uh, summer hockey's just finished and winter's hockey is starting in about two weeks, two to three weeks. So I look forward to that. But, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, huge hockey fan. Uh, there's some jerseys up there that I have. These are West Pro jerseys. Uh, it's my wife, Meg. Obviously she was born in 77, so that's her number. Uh, it's me up there, born in 1975. Uh, that's the black jersey there. Uh, can you see the front of this one up here? I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, anyways, that's up there. I have my dark color, my white, uh, some my white gear. So this is it. I don't know if you guys are interested, but here I'll just show you some of my jerseys. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks. This is a pro jersey from 1998, the uh, All Star Game in Vancouver. I'm a huge Anaheim Ducks fan. Before this, uh, before they were blowing up, this last past few years. But uh, yeah, because I'm a huge Paul Correa fan. This is one of my prize uh, jerseys here. Paul Correa, an excellent, excellent player whose career, unfortunately, sort of took the turn for the worse after uh, that hit by Scott Stevens. I was one of them. And then there was another one, I, I believe, uh, on his jaw. I forget uh, when it was, but he was never the same after that. Uh, obviously, the Olympic Team Canada jerseys have the white and the black. I can tell you the truth, these are probably about the most, not the ugliest jerseys of all times in the history of uh, the Olympic jerseys. They're pretty cool to wear, just like jogging pants and a and a hoodie underneath when you're going to play on the outside rinks there on the ponds outside. But as far as wearing these with equipment, they do not work. This is a large, and a large is like a 54 or 52, and it should be fitting perfectly with equipment. And I swear it's like an extra small with equipment, so... That does not work so those are i just wear basically outside 
Here's another Team Canada jersey from 1998, I believe this one was. I've worn this one many times. It's one of my favorite jerseys. I am a Montreal boy, so I do have a Habs jersey. Big fan of P.K. Subban. I think that guy's got mad skills. Uh, Carey Price, pretty decent too, eh? Uh, I'm a hockey fan in general, but uh, my team is Ottawa, but I do love, uh, I love, I follow careers, so I have uh, quite a few teams that I like there, whatever. This is just another West Pro, old school style. This is uh, an amazing jersey. I love this jersey. The full numbers and lettering and all this and that. Number of letters on the side, whatnot. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, the jersey I wear a lot. And uh, my Ottawa Senators practice jersey. It's uh, the Sens. This was the third jersey, I believe, a few years back. And uh, uh, the white one here, my pants. Got some skates here. I got my Reebok 20Ks, Bauer Vapors there. Uh, my pads, shin pads. Obviously, you see uh, my gloves and all this and that. And then a basket full of miscellaneous hockey stuff, tape, socks, and whatnot. Uh, here's just uh, my golf bag. I know Brian from Top Notch is a huge golf guy, or, um, excuse me, enjoys playing golf, or I said it, I believe said it, it's his favorite sport. Too bad uh, we weren't close, so I'd love for someone to go uh, golf with more often. One of my buddies, he's really into it, but uh, he's so busy as well. He was actually in Europe, in Amsterdam for, uh, or sorry, Holland for six months, had a baby out there. So now he has uh, a little one and two little ones now, actually. So uh, time is not like it used to be. So we haven't gotten out much, but it's something I'd like to start doing more regularly. At least maybe, at least go at least like, you know, six, seven times a season. So uh, hopefully that will come to be at some point. Uh, the bag here we have mounted up just are, you know, some uh, high visible, high visibility raincoats and whatnot, especially in the fall around here when we do leaves. Uh, the streets, it does get dark around here, so just, you know, that we can be seen and whatnot. And uh, we have our West Pro rain gear. Yep. Wire just pulled me back. These are just uh, some models there of uh, the West Pro Wing gear. I know uh, Blake, I believe, from BNB Lawn Care, has been showing some of his uh, new uniforms, which are really pretty, pretty sick. Really like his style. The guy's doing big things. Uh, maybe I'll throw up a video of our uniforms, uh, the progression that it's taken, hats, uh, business cards, uh, shirts, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, maybe everybody just. Uh, show uh, their uniforms and uh, their business cards and their flyers and just this, their personal style of their business and their company and sort of uh, where they've taken it uh, visually uh, because obviously that plays a huge role and obviously it's a personal touch so I'd be curious to see more of that stuff guys so if uh, hey man make some videos and show your hats and your shirts and and uh, business cards and flyers uh, I'd love to see uh, the personal touches of you guys out there uh, mounted up here are my trimmer racks. Uh, these are pretty awesome trimmer racks. These are the trimmer trap, but uh, they didn't mount well in back of the trailer. Uh, it was really hard to get everything lined up with the metal uh, bracing on the side of the trailer that uh, it didn't line up properly. So like the length was too, they were too far apart to fit the trimmers uh, properly. So I actually tried it closer together and that was just screwed into wood or I had one screwed in to a metal uh, brace and then the other one was just in wood and it ended up falling down because the trimmer racks themselves are fairly heavy and then with like three trimmers on them, well, uh, that didn't work out too well. So those are mounted here and keeps this stuff organized and uh, yeah. I'll show you my trailer setup. Maybe I'll film that tomorrow. I've had to reorganize that too to fit the two machines and whatnot. So yeah, I'll give you guys a, a video on that tomorrow if you guys are interested. Uh, this is just the second deck. This is the vacuum deck of the walker. Uh, trying to figure out if I'm going to leave that here or store that in the shed in the back. I'll probably put it in the shed in the back when we're done with it because that will be coming out fairly soon uh, to take care of leaf cleanup. Uh, just another blower mounted on the wall. This is the third backpack. I got the pressure washer. You guys seen all that. Uh, I've had to, this is sort of like the maintenance equipment, truck maintenance corner up here. Uh, I had to go out and get a hydraulic lift. 
uh, three ton hydraulic lift uh, because it's very that's the only way to get to uh, underneath the Dixie chopper a lot of you guys know that are riding the uh, 60 inch decks that you have to uh, lift them up to get access to the blades and scrape the decks and all that uh, speaking of which I will show you guys uh, I'll run the Dixie chopper for a week and I'll show you how clean the deck is underneath I've got the Wismo little Wismo uh, gadgets that you put underneath uh, three of them where the blades are and uh, keeps the deck clean. I cleaned it last week after a week of use and pff, there was nothing under it. It was fantastic. So I will show you guys that. So yeah, so a 310 lift. Uh, I'll make a video one day doing that. Uh, just some odds and ends around the equipment and truck and trailer and whatnot. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, some ramps. Uh, I got the oil. got little uh, stoppers there. Uh, oil pan, funnels, uh, the safety... Safety, I don't know what you want to call it, safety brackets, safety, you know, so that the truck doesn't uh, come down on you, uh, or the or the uh, the machine, and uh, just a little workbench and uh, folds out, and then you can slide on your back on it and whatnot. So uh, yeah, this is basically the space now. So like I said, here's the corner we just looked at. This is more maintenance oriented. Uh, this is just more storage, keeping stuff in its place for now. Uh, obviously this is my recreation side, uh, just reading and storage for, uh, you know, little odds and ends, some paperwork, my workbench, and uh, the little tools that I have all in its place, hoses, air hose, and uh, the main tools that I use uh, for maintenance as well. So that is basically it, guys. Let me see if I flip this around properly. Uh, that's it. So yeah, hopefully I can stay on top of things and... Uh, it would make my life a lot simpler, a lot simpler, and uh, the business will run much more smoothly if I can stay on top, stay on top of things like that. Uh, so I need to maintain my space. My wife is about all about that. That I need to be in here at least twice a week just to you know tidy up, keep everything in order, and uh, I'm sure everything else will just fall into place. So. Thank you guys for checking the video out. Uh, leave some comments, man, or maybe film your spaces. Let me know. Maybe uh, your space needs to be tidied up, or maybe, man, you have no issues with that at all, and your space is always impeccable. Maybe you have some pointers for me to help uh, stay on top of it, because sometimes you come home and you're just so tired, it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, continue the momentum and dive into something where that you can sort of procrastinate with and postpone till tomorrow. Unfortunately, sometimes I do do that and I do want to break that habit. So yeah, if you guys have uh, experiences or situations that are similar to mine, please uh, comment or make some videos and uh, I'll go check them out. So perhaps tomorrow I'll make a video on the way I've organized the trailer uh, because I said space is limited with that and uh, you guys let me know what you think and hope you enjoy and I will see you guys soon. All right guys, take care. Easy.